First, please watch the video, what does the O2 trainer do for you? It will explain exactly what happens when you are using the O2 trainer and it will make everything so much easier to understand. Doing the breathing exercises correctly will give you the maximum benefits. Okay, so first of all, make sure your clothing is comfortable. No tight pants, no belts. You need to be able to push your belly out. Now your technique will slack in the beginning. I went through that, everybody goes through that. And because your technique isn't that good, there's a high possibility that you will get muscle aches in your neck, in your face and your shoulders the first few times because you start overcompensating with other muscles. Like, she should start flexing everything. But once you get the technique down and only use your breathing muscles to inhale, those muscle aches will be gone. Now that by itself will teach you how to breathe correctly and that's going to do wonders for you. Remember, 95% of you are breathing wrong. I was breathing wrong when I was fighting for world titles. Look at this, how bad is that? Look at the shoulder breathing, it's insane. Well, thankfully I stopped him a few minutes later. Now my breathing now is completely different. If I come out of a hard round, this is how I breathe. <sighs> Not like you just saw on that video. <laughs> that is completely gone. Now with a few of these exercises, you're going to rock forward and you come back straight up again. And then when you have the O2 trainer in your mouth, you might start drooling. Now the trick is to swallow right after you inhale. So just before you exhale again, you come up, swallow, and then you breathe out again. With all the exercises, keep your shoulders low. You cannot raise your shoulders. Grab the bottom of the chair if you have to in the beginning. Only focus on the muscles that open your lungs for you. This could be the front, the back, and the side breathing muscles. And don't worry, I will let you know which ones you are using when explaining the exercise. Most asked question, with what cap should I start with? Okay, so you're gonna to have to time your first few workouts. It should take you between three and four and a half minutes. If you do it below three minutes, go to a higher resistance cap. And if you go over four and a half minutes, go to a less resistance cap. Now, most people start with cap number four, five, or six. And the numbers, as you can see, are on the caps. And please, this is very important. Do not try the highest resistance cap. I've been doing this for four years every single day, and I use cap number two. Doing the breathing exercises correctly is 10 times more important than doing it fast. You need to exhale completely and then completely inhale again. Also know that your diaphragm is a muscle, which like every other muscle will get tired. So the first 10 reps, you're gonna be strong, but soon enough, you can't completely inhale anymore if you use too much resistance. Also, if after you inhale, you need more air before you exhale again and let that air slip in through your nose, you should go to a less resistance cap. Now, if this happens only in your last, let's say, five, seven reps, don't worry about it, you're good, and that will be much better. How do you know you are getting stronger? It's simple. First of all, you're gonna feel it. Your breathing becomes so much better. But time yourself doing the repetitions every week. And when you start with a cap, with which it will take you, let's say, four minutes, you will find out pretty soon you go below three minutes. And once that happens, that's the moment you want more resistance. One more time. Try to keep every muscle in the body relaxed, except your abs or your back muscles, the muscles that you are using and you should focus on. And trust me, you're going to feel it. Some people buy the O2 trainer for their abs. If you do this for 30 days straight, I don't think you will stop again. And after 30 days, when you miss one here and there, absolutely not a problem. My advice, I alternate myself between exercise number one and exercise number two. And why would I do that? Because today I attack my front breathing muscles. So then tomorrow when I attack my back breathing muscles, my front breathing muscles can relax. Okay, and again, one more time, most important, relax. Only use your breathing muscles. Godspeed and breathe on.